actually, I think, too, one of the greatest possibilities we have is in the South American countries um, with Ecuador, Chavez, you know, in Bolivia and Cuba, all those progressive countries, we would love to make a presentation to the presidents of all those countries because they're kind of grappling with what to do next, where to go. They're thinking of so in terms of socialism, but they're beginning to share resources and things together. And it, maybe if we could get have some kind of contact with them and propose a first city where we do research, we develop Jacques' products, and the benefits go to all those countries who have participated, there might be more chance with, with those countries than any yeah, others. Let me put it this way. I went, we were friends with Cuba and America. Castro came here. He asked for money to help change things. U.S. turned him down. When I got to Cuba, I said I would like to see Fidel. So the police arrested me right away. And they looked through my suitcases, and they were nothing but drawings for Fidel. So they let me go. Then I said, where is Fidel? He said, he's a couple of hundred miles cutting sugar cane with the workers. I was trying to be one of the boys. So I figured, gee, I only, I had 600 bucks when I got to Cuba. That was all I had to spend. So I went to the University of Havana and I said, I'd like to talk to the technicians there. They said, okay. So they set up a meeting with technicians. And they said to me first in their Spanish-American accent, meet the Freco, we don't have the money, but the U.S. has to do all these wonderful things that you have in mind. So I said, you don't need money. You jack up a car and put a belt on the rear wheel. That'll process your sugar cane. And you can do that with 50 cars and process machinery. Oh, Mr. Fresco, you have to see Fidel. <laughs> I said, look, I have no power. I'd like to see Fidel. So they said, I want to show you what we do. So they had a bunch of guys carrying bananas down the hill. So I said, if you build a clothesline, hang the bananas up, they'll come down automatically while the boxes go up. Oh, you have to see Fidel. So what can I do with that? I stayed there till my money ran out. I had to come back. I never saw Fidel. So, he didn't know what to do, Castro. Castro was a revolutionary, like Che Guevara was a doctor. He tried to help people to the best of his ability, but U.S. was gunning for him, you know. So I would say that communism isn't radical enough for the world today. It was good a hundred years ago.